Welcome back to example three, where we use what we've learned about right triangles to help us solve problems. Compared to the other two that we've done so far, this question is a little more involved algebraically. The question reads, a tourist visiting Paris determines that the angle of elevation from point A to the top of the Eiffel Tower is 12.19 degrees. She then walks one kilometer on a straight line to a point B and determines that the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 32.94 degrees. Determine the height of the Eiffel Tower and round to the nearest meter. I think the best thing to do here is to draw a picture of what's happening. So we have point A being right here and the angle of elevation happens to be 12.19 degrees. And that's the angle which this line makes with the horizontal. So let me also create a horizontal line like this. This angle is 12.19 degrees. This person then walks one kilometer in this direction and we have a second point which we'll call B. Again, the angle of elevation this time happens to be a little larger, 32.94 and that's what you would expect. The Eiffel Tower is from here to here. And the distance from here to here is one, one kilometer. Okay, we need to find out the height of the Eiffel Tower. What we will do is create two equations representing this angle relative to the height of the Eiffel Tower using trigonometric ratios. Now we want the distance from here to here, so that's opposite of 12.19. This is opposite. And we also have information about the adjacent to this vertex. We we're told that from here to here is one, and we can use that to help us. We can't use one specifically, but we can use the fact that from here all the way to here is one plus an unknown value x. The trigonometric ratio that relates opposite to adjacent is tangent. So I'll write down tangent of my angle, 12.19 degrees is equal to the opposite. Let's call this alpha, or you can call it any letter that you like. And the adjacent is one plus x. I'll create a second equation, but this time relating this smaller triangle and use the exact same variables to help me solve. Again, relative to this angle, that's opposite. I'm going to use tan again because we have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 32.94 degrees is equal to the opposite of alpha over this time simply x. We have two equations with two unknowns so we can solve them simultaneously. Much the same way that you would solve a system of equations. We will isolate for one of the variables and substitute it into the other equation where that resultant equation has only one unknown. In case that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. I'll start with this equation because we don't have this 1 plus x at the bottom. It's a little more simple. I'll multiply both sides by x so that I can eventually isolate for x. That will cancel out. Then I have x times tangent of 32.94 is equal to alpha. I divide both sides by tangent of 32.94. I would avoid evaluating tangent at 32.94 until the very end of the question because you don't want to round too early. So that will cancel out with that. And now you have an equation that has alpha on the right side and x on the other, which we will now substitute into here. So whatever this x is equal to, alpha over tangent 32.94, we place that into there. So I have tangent 12.19 again is equal to alpha over one plus this expression. Alpha over tangent of 32.94. All we have to do now is solve for alpha. And while this may look easy, you do need to know how to manipulate equations to actually figure it out. Here's what I would do. I would start off by getting rid of this denominator. We have a pretty large denominator and we can get rid of it by multiplying both sides by it. So if I multiply the right side by this expression, I end up with simply 
alpha on the right side. But I also have to do it on the left side, so I end up with 1 plus alpha tangent 32.94, all of that being multiplied to tangent of 12.19. I do need to isolate for alpha, so I will expand this expression now, multiplying tangent of 12.19 to both of these terms. I end up with tangent 12.19, that's that very first term, plus tangent, again, 12.19 times alpha over tangent of 32.94. And all of that is equal to A. We need to isolate for A, so I'll take that over. I have tangent, again, 12.19 is equal to alpha minus that term. Now the number associated with alpha, the coefficient is one. Let me use my calculator. One minus tangent 12.19 divided by tangent of 32.94. That gives me the right side. And I'll write it down as 0 0.6665 alpha and on the right side, tangent of 12.19. Dividing both sides now by this factor, watch. Divide now by that previous outcome, and I get 0 0.3240. To interpret that, that is 0 0.3240 kilometers, which when converted into meters, Remember, one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. When you convert this, you get 324 meters. If you need this to the correct number of significant figures, you should have 324.1 meters. That is if your teacher asks for the correct number of significant figures, because this was four, so is that, so you should also end up with four. And there you have it. That is how to solve trigonometric problems involving two right triangles.